Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, we appreciate you stopping by, and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We got some cool stuff happening today. This one's going to make the wife very happy. So this is the making the wife happy edition of Friday's Finds. Because if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. And we've got a returning sponsor that I'm really excited about because Yappy's really excited about them. So Sin Sarte, they're back. They're back. I did be back. This is the 14 piece non stick cookware set. We got a motorcycle riding around in the neighborhood. So you need to know. This is the care. This is the instruction manual. We have to, there's some assembly required. Cooking, cooking is an art. Cooking is an art. Relax and enjoy. Very nice package. These would make great gifts. Of course, er everything from this company is would be a great gift and I just I love that they include the felt got two big ones oh, and they both have vents oh, look at the size of that She's going she's gonna be so happy. The handle box. The handle box. And I guess that would be the knob box. There's the ladle box. And then there's the spatula box. Alright, so let me put this all let's, let me do some assembly. Oh that's that's so nice. I, I, dare I say this is maybe better than the very first one? I don't know. But they got some really great stuff. So let me put this all together. Uh, and we'll open some more boxes. Actually, we'll open more boxes. I'll clear this off. Open more boxes. And then we'll come back. Ha. You know, if you're going to be cooking in the, the kitchen on the sin sarte cook set it's a good idea to have a sharp knife now you guys have any of those early matrimony knives in your in your drawer you know those that have been around since before you got married and they're kind of dull you have to saw the bread all right we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna solve that problem kit tool reached out to me and said hey you got any dull knives i said you have no idea so they sent us a a sharpening machine it's gonna make make it much easier to get her knives razor sharp so it's synchronized double-edged grinding design you can grind both sides at the same time so you don't have to do left or right so there's a spring guide to make sure it's at the right angle uh, it'll sh it automatically turns off when it gets too hot. Uh, it's a, the, the head is made of a special material. It protects the knife from being scratched. And there's a magnetic suction. Basically, it captures the shavings. It's all great information. The electric knife sharpener from Ketul. It's a good thing I got some dull knives. Go in and sharpen this up, sharpen them up. That's very stylish. Get to them. All right. So we got a couple more boxes to open. Some more. The art of reorganization space. I need their. I need their help. So when they reached out to me. And some more reached out to me and said, we like what you're doing on, on that Friday's Finds thing. Would you be interested? And I, I looked at what they said. They must be psychic. 
How did they know? You know, in case you don't know, we're about to put the house on the market and move full time in the RV, and I got a green box down on 10 acres beat. It's a big green metal building, and it's primary. It is for storage. It's not for us to live in. She still has a whole wardrobe that we got to do something with. Some more is going to help us with that. So let let me open this box. You see, when I put these up, these videos up on Amazon, in case y'all don't know, I got a, <laughs> I, I, any barcode, any QR code, anything that looks like a phone number, anything that looks like an email address, I had to go back, I have to find all that stuff. Let me get this big box open and we'll be back, I'll be back. So that's what it's gonna look like when I'm finished assembling. We got another box to open up, so I've got it open. It's really, it's really well packaged. And it looks like it's gonna be pretty simple to put together. We got, we got another box to open, and then we gotta talk about some stuff. We have another returning sponsor. Y'all remember them cool pot, pots and pans that we put in the RV from Sinsarte? That's right, Sinsarte is back, and yes. <laughs> Your YouTube is not deceiving you. We just opened a Sinsarte box. We're gonna open another one. This is the, check this out. This is the Pasca Ceramic 14 piece. She was really excited. Of course, the, they, have, they have mastered the art of packaging, so we have instructions what's all included they include a screwdriver with every set lids I'll have to put the knob on that's why they give you a screwdriver we can do some cooking Handles. Oh, now I see why she and these these are induction friendly. Just so you know, she was when she looked at these. She's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Love those felt pads. The handle box. Another one. And another one. These have got long handles. So let me put these together. And then we'll we'll view both. We're gonna view both sets side by side with Yappy's help. So when you're working with these, these pots, this set, there are two different handle lengths. And you got long ones and shorter ones. Now this set included, ah, these are rubber grips to go on here so that you can handle that coming out of neoprene. Nice. She is so excited because she doesn't eat meat, so she wants, she's, she's excited to have two different pot sets to cook her meals and my meals. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna move to the kitchen. Before we go in the kitchen, I almost forgot something. Y'all remember last, last fall? It had to have been last fall. Uh, I was working with a poncho that was sent to me. It was an alpaca yarn poncho. Man, I love that thing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yappy likes it too. But we only have one poncho. <laughs> so we we both can't wear it. So when Paku Alpaca reached out to me and said, Hey, would you be interested? I said, Well, of course. Had to keep this one hidden so that she didn't know about it. But this is from Paku Alpaca. Check this out. Look at that. Beautiful gray. Now, Paku Alpaca, they're small business. These are hand woven. 
That's softer than K. I don't know if I'm going to give this to her or not. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, it's 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 a it's a little bit lighter. It's lighter than the other one. It'll be perfect for her though. She's gonna love that. Oh, it's just it's so fine. How do they do? How do those people do that? That is just amazing. Handmade. These these are all Ecuadorian alpaca yarn. Paku. This is just so soft. Guys, if you want to really get your wife excited for Christmas, get her a Paku Alpaca Poncho. She's going to love it, and I'm going to prove it. We're going we're gonna to prove it here in just a minute. Yep, he's happy. Oh, my gosh. Dude. I get... love these cookware sets. Are you happy about all these pots and pans? Oh, there? my goodness. Yes. Got a whole kitchen full. That means I get to eat a lot more, right? Wow, I feel like it's Christmas, it birthday, Christmas. holiday, I don't know, but we, one of our favorite brands, Sensarte, we've had one crepe pan from them. I have used this thing all the time for folded eggs, omelets, crepes you can use this for. I heat up like meat sandwiches for dude and things. It's easy. It's got one of the best nonstick surfaces I've ever seen. It does induction, electric gas. I love it. And they reached out to us because we didn't have enough of their cookware and sent us two different sets. So I'm going to show you the first set. It's the same high quality nonstick. This is amazing. I'm cleaning out my kitchen today. I'm getting rid of everything because this is going to replace all of my cookware and then some. So first it has a 14 piece nonstick. It's in black. It's got these great handles. You can hang it. And I love the handles. They're smooth. They're softer. They look like wood. They do say you can put them in the dishwasher. I'm, I'm going to say I would recommend not doing that unless you need to do it on occasion because it's because of that nonstick coating. They're so easy to clean. I mean, I, I have separate brushes. I just put a couple of drops of soap, rinse them out with hot water. If I'm cooking something that's not vegetarian or vegan right, or with meat and cheese, which by the way, never sticks in this. It's amazing. Then I put water in it, heat it back up real quick, get it to boiling for two minutes, and that's it. And then I dump it and it's sanitized. So we've got three frying pans with this set. One is a beast. One is a beast, yes. And it has a lid. So this is almost, you could use this almost like a wok, dude. I mean, really, this is like a wok slash frying pan slash saute oven. I love it. Then you get a bonus round, you get a Dutch oven. Look at this. This is awesome with a lid. And then you've got a two quart, I'm actually using it. No, she, she referred to it as a Dutch oven, but this really is not oven. It's, it's not, not oven friendly, it's like the shape it's a of a big, big stock pot. It's a stock pot, it's the shape, excuse me, of a Dutch oven. These are not oven safe, I apologize. Then I'm cooking in this right now and I have a cheesy dish in it on this little quart. I think it's two quarts. Oops, I made a mess, that's okay. It's not sticking at all. Make sure you put a couple drops of oil, whatever you use. I'm an olive oil fan if I use oil. Turn this off. Since Arte also sent us the RV handle removable removable oh that's right set. we've already got a video on that you get check that out i'm sure he'll post it in a link somewhere but we have the rv or portable set that the handles remove and it stacks in one little section and it is killer we've had we love those they're amazing but yeah this is more of a stock pot it's just shaped like a dutch oven and then they even give you two very high quality utensils spatula spoon these are not like bendable. These are like good grade. The one thing, always use plastic or wood. You never use metal in these. You don't want to scratch that nonstick surface, but I will say they've held up better than any nonstick I've had in my life. What Tell me about this beautiful white cookware. I really so like that. So this, it's called, ooh look, I'm even burning a little. Watch, let's check it out. This proves it. This has been cooking. And look, it's not sticking my onions. This is the, let me make sure I say the name right. Pasca. And it's beautiful. Look, see, you can see I kind of got those caramelized onions. 
and they're in water. I've only put a couple drops of oil. I've not, not even a teaspoon in here. And it's holding up quite well. Let's turn that off. We're about to cook dinner. What, what I find really cool is you're cooking on induction here. Right, and you cook and it on gas over here. Gas over here, and we could even cook on electric if we had to. And while we're here, dude, let's show them the set. Mm -hmm. This also comes with cool uh, utensils. And they're these are these are not your cheapies like this. This is soft, so it'll take care of those eggs. Really stiff this is silicone. this is a really stiff silicone. That's plastic on that other one. And then these have the two frying pans too, which plus the third I just showed you. What I really like about these is these wood handles. Look, if you like to hang, that will hang. And it rotates. And it rotates so you can move it around yeah. to make it look pretty. No matter how you hang it is. This one looks like a little fancier uh, of the sets. It's for the bar the burn surface, so it gets even cooking. Now check this out, this stock pot. It has handles that you can put on and off to keep it from burning you. Isn't this rocking? This is amazing. And they have vents in these lids, which I love, so your food doesn't like overboil. Another stock pan. And this one actually has a little It pan. has the pour, so I love that too, because that's one of my favorite things. So that's a little different than this one. This one doesn't have it, and this one does. So they're a little different. That's why you need them both, dude. <laughs> and then, you just you need, need lots of cabinet space. <laughs> yes. The one thing I like about these frying pans on both sets, they're deep. So you could cook, like let's say you want to cook dinners and vegetables for a couple people. They'll fit in this one. So you don't have to pull out the big stock pot or things like that or really big ones. Well, if you have this big beast, wouldn't you use it? You can. I mean, I could see doing all my cooking in these two sets and actually one set will take care of it i'm just i love to cook and i enjoy cooking and i like having options and with these two sets plus the rv set the we call it the rv set it's the compact set really this product is amazing um thank you so much and sorry these are awesome and i am excited to use them and they will be my cookware for the future i, I think we're wrapped up on on our or cookware. I gotta sharpen some knives and. Oh wait, but we didn't tell. Did you show them this? Oh no, we didn't talk about the the scratch preventers. Real quick, one thing every set comes for storage with the scratch preventers in them to protect them, and then that way you don't worry about damaging that nonstick like other sets. So they all have them, and of course, the Pasca has the pretty white color coded. And color -coded. our compact one had one too, but do not forget. When you get all this, this little piece is a wonderful extra addition to all of this because you can do a lot of things on that one too. Well, dude, it's awesome. All right, well, while I have your undivided attention. Yes. It is Christmas. Yes. And there's some folks down in South America that wanted to say Feliz Navidad to you. And that would be uh, Paku Alpaca. Paku Alpaca? Paku Alpaca has sent you Oh my goodness. Hey Poncho, because they heard you complaining about not being able to wear my alpaca poncho. Okay, but I was jealous because he has his own um, alpaca wool. What is this? Poncho. poncho. And I said, man, I want one. And look, and look how beautiful this is. This is so soft. This, this is like lit? casual. Oh, and this has like a turtleneck. Wow. Let's see. Help me out. Fix me up. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. And if it's kind of chilly, you can pull that up to yep. protect your ears. And it's lightweight, so this is something you can keep in your car. And when you need that extra, I'm going to take this with me to Austin. Yeah, that is. This is amazing. That is, uh, that's, in my personal opinion, that's softer than cashmere. Yeah, this is, is just, this. and the quality is unbelievable. It's so fine. And it's, and it's not that, it's not that yours is really heavy, which, but I mean, it blocks the wind. I mean, let's get real mm -hmm. here. This is amazing that you could like just keep, keep it in your car. That way, when you just need that extra layer, you no. got it. These these are all handmade by artisans in Ecuador. Wow! And the 
alpaca there are living at you know 10 12 thousand feet in the cold and the and the fiber from the alpaca is how beautiful a, a that better heat that. retainer than merino wool oh wow because it's a hollow fiber and they have just they the artisans are just this wow. is beautiful i might have it all backwards but i can't tell well, i don't think there's a front or back well this one's shorter maybe not well, we're, gonna, we're gonna move it around just for fun we are on video you do test things on youtube you know is that right it's the same is it's it the same okay it's well it's no, the same no front or back. i wasn't sure just i was sitting there like maybe this i feel like it's not good. maybe not oh my gosh this is amazing since thank there, you since there's no hood yeah there's no you're merry right. christmas Feliz Navidad. i feel like i've had christmas today i'm set and thank all of you for watching dude's channel he, oh. he loves what he does. We got one more surprise for you, but you're not going to be here to see it assemble. We have a wardrobe for the big green box that I'll um, be assembling and yikes. showing tomorrow. Because I'm going to be downsizing here soon with Dude and living in the Trudy living and in a Trudy. green box Trudy while we build our retirement home. The, the Yay! This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate this. And the pots. All and right. the pots. So I've already had Christmas. I don't need Christmas. We're done in the kitchen. Okay. And tomorrow we'll be out on the patio while you're going to do your thing. All right. We're going to sharpen some blades. We need to cut some stuff. All right. <clears throat> the expensive knife. I don't think we need to. Yeah, we're going to run it through the cord. One time. Now we'll go into the. Feels pretty dying sharp. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with a sheet of paper. pretty sharp that's very sharp so you have to be real careful with that what I really like is there's, there's not any rolled edges when you're sharpening hard steel you tend to get a roll I like this now she can sharpen her own knives the clothes hanging rack the wardrobe thing you know it went together really well I'm actually really impressed with it because these legs are three part, three piece units and they screw together. The casters on the bottom screw in. Uh, it fits through the door. Perfect. It's not too tall, but it's tall enough that you can hang quite a bit of clothes on there. I've got it set so that I can hang blue jeans on the bottom and shirts on the top and I can even put my shoes on the top so when we get this out to our green box our storage building she'll be able to use this next to the washing the washing station the washer and dryer that's really well built those really sturdy the casters will lock so you don't have to worry about it rolling around if you don't have a closet <laughs> early matrimony we lived in a couple a couple houses that had really tiny closets that would have come in real handy we have reached the end of this happy wife edition of fried days finds i want to give a special shout out of thanks to the vendors that have made my wife so very happy she is just enamored with those non-stick cook pans from sensarte so, sensarte thank you so very much she was cooking until i went to bed last night and she was cooking this morning when i got up she loves those pans and now that we have the the knife sharpener she's got some nice sharp blades so she can keep right on cooking 
And let me tell you, she was talking about wearing that poncho to bed last night. <laughs> she said, it's so soft. I love it. I think I'm just going to wear it to bed. She didn't wear it to bed, but she was sure talking about it. And that garment rack, she hasn't seen that yet because she, she had to go and do some had to go do some Christmas party stuff somewhere. But it's going to come in handy, and I know she's going to like that as well, because when we make the transition from here to the land, she's going to need that. So once again, I would like to say thank you to all the vendors who made this video possible. And I want to thank y'all for watching. So all of these products can be found on Amazon. I will provide you with a link in the card and in the description that link will take you to a to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation page your business is most appreciated if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button it really helps with the youtube algorithm and for those of you who have been following along thank you we are most grateful for your support and, and for my patrons i cannot say thank you enough you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear